This week I'm taking a break from tech riding to try out a new bike part that's gonna transform the way my bike rides. Warning, you may find this footage extremely shocking. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're a first time viewer, my name is Jeff Lenoski. Check it out. Finally jumping into the coil spring game. I just put that on last night. It is a DVO Jade X coil. If you watch my bike check video of this Reeb Squeeb, I've had it set up in the 130 configuration. I've been loving riding tech trails with this setup, but now it's time for some bigger hits. Now I bumped it up to 150, so with this frame, you can change the lower shock mount. It allows you to use the same frame and increase the travel by 20 millimeters. Here's some footage of me doing the swap last night. The clock is real time, but I sped it up so you're not bored, but it's crazy that you can do this in less than four minutes. And, Voila, we're ready to take this thing to the trail, so let's head over to Mountain Creek. We're gonna take it for some runs, and I'll give you my first impression, so let's head up the mountain. All right, so I set this thing up with a 600 pound spring, I weigh like 225, so that's giving me about 25% sag, so it's a little firm in the back. Um, the shock has three positions. It has a open, mid, and closed. Just sitting on it here in the parking lot. The open feels super open. Like, that is really, really, really plush. The lockout is like, it's completely locked out. When you're on it, this thing is gonna climb really good for a coil. But I'm kind of curious about the middle because that middle position, like just sitting on it here in the parking lot feels really, really stiff. So, I mean, that could make it a good pedaler, but I'm actually a little curious to see how plush this feels out on the trail. Now we're riding in trail mode, middle position. Normally I'm a Topaz 2 guy. So, I'm gonna be curious to see how this thing feels. Feels good. I know a jump trail is not really the true test for a coil, but definitely feels supported. Ooh, even popping the doubles. When you land, it just sticks. So far, so good. It's weird when you pedal, it's nice and supportive. It doesn't bounce. And that platform that I was concerned that it was gonna be a little weird. I mean, I know we're on a jump trail, so we're not getting a lot of hits, but it feels really, really open. Since I made the back of my bike 150, I increased the front to 160. So that's pretty rad. Having some extra travel up there too. The last couple weeks, I've been riding Mountain Creek with my uh, 130 setup. Man, this is blown out. This will be a good shock test. This gets fast here. God, that feels good. That was dope. All right, so I've taken a few runs and the shock feels super sick, but I mounted a camera right there so I can see what this thing's doing. Most particularly, and I take the jump line, but there's a decent sized drop and I wanna compare how this thing reacts in open trail and closed. So I got the camera set on 120 frames a second, so let's see what it looks like. 
These claps are how I'll sync up the chest cam with the shock cam. But first, let's just pay attention to the shock in the open position, hitting some of the jumps. And then this is the chest cam synced with the shock cam on the stuff that I'll break down. The jump line. All right, let's start the unscientific test. Completely open on the left, trail on the right. After riding it in all three settings, trail was definitely my desired position, and I was super surprised at how supple it did feel. Like I had mentioned, it felt pretty stiff in the parking lot, but as you can see, it's definitely getting full travel on the takeoffs and the landings. When you look at the shot compared to the open, it is a little bit more supportive. Now it gets really obvious because we're comparing open on the left, closed on the right, and even that, which felt completely locked out in the parking lot, it is moving a lot, but I wouldn't recommend hitting jumps with it in the closed position. Now this is the drop. Open on the left, trail on the right. Open on the left, closed on the right. You can see that there's very little bob when you preload for the drop, and then on the landing, it definitely controls itself a little bit more. And here's a couple more seconds of my favorite setting, trail mode, which is right in the middle. Good stable platform, but still supple on all the hits. Good first day on the shock. A lot of bike park, a lot of jump trails, a little bit of rocks. Um, I'm super impressed. You know, for a shock that only has three positions, I was wondering without having separate high speed compression and low speed compression. But to be honest with you, most people don't even know, know what to do with that stuff. I don't know what to do with it half the time. Uh, the three positions makes it super simple. Um, I'm gonna need to go for a trail ride and see how this climb mode works. You know, uh, it feels like it's a super stiff platform, but I'm super impressed. So stay tuned for another video of me trail riding this thing because I want to see what it's like out on a regular XC ride. All right, until next time, get out there and be a boss.